team say that this is a major bust. Police say that it's like opening up Pandora's box. As they were collecting evidence at the scene, the suspect's cell phone Big kept ass off nigga. The <laughs> for others wanting not only cars, but drugs and even guns. Despite pit bulls and even surveillance cameras, <laughs> with that, Fresno police surprised 25-year-old Adolfo Reyes and 23-year-old Oscar Bazin at their central Fresno home. We know that this has been an active crew. Adolfo Reyes, my nigga. <laughs> And obviously drugs. Police say the pair were prepared for a fight. Officers found bulletproof vests and even police scanners. I'll be there in 15 minutes, got 70. Because we've been sitting here, we've got 10 different calls and about 20 different texts of people still wanting guns, drugs, and cars. Wow. Months ago, undercover officers befriended Reyes and told him they ran a chop shop. Officers went on to buy cars, guns, and nearly two pounds of meth till they dropped the hammer today. Sergeant Tejan says taking down these chop shop suppliers is making an impact. The latest numbers show Fresno has a 33% reduction in auto thefts compared to last year at this time. That's 150 fewer cars stolen. Sergeant Tejan says he and his unit are proud of those decreased numbers, but he says what really makes a difference is keeping those prolific auto thieves inside the county jail. Many are being let out even before they go to court. As the releases started to occur, you know, more frequently at the beginning of the year, again, we're seeing that the auto theft rate goes up and that we're, we're arresting some of the same bad guys over and over again. And, and that does get a bit discouraging. And due to the state budget crisis, those early releases will likely continue. But in this specific case, because these two men are not only charged with supplying stolen cars to chop shops, but also selling drugs and guns, Fresno police hope that they will stay locked up. Monty? You know, Eric, it looks like going after the middleman like that, those brokers, could be even more effective than going after the...